So explain to me exactly where we're at here. Well, we're in uh, Valtellina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are about 400 meters above sea level. Okay. In, uh, and over there is where I would find Sassella. Yes, uh, that, that mountain coming. Okay. Coming. Uh, and Inferno. Same Inferno place. is uh, is um, after after Sassella you get Inferno always on this side of the of the valley. And no, first you get Grumello, okay. and then uh, and then uh, Inferno, and um, but they are um, a bit further da down that way. Okay, and this, this zone is ca is called what? This is called uh, is not doesn't have a, a specific name. Mm -hmm. Is it a problem then that not a problem, but uh, that they have become there are these sub zones where people think ah because I'm drinking a Sassella. Like Barolo, of course, if you're drinking a crew name, you're usually drinking something. Yeah, yeah so you're supposed to. I mean, that, that's what they, most, of the, most of the drinkers think, but it's not actually the, 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 the truth. Because if you see, uh, in Sassella, you, you have any kinds of wine, because you have uh, this side and the exposure is different from the other side, and then you have different... Uh, Altitude, so mm -hmm. every, every wine still in Sassella is very different from each other. Okay. So it's not necessarily a crew because of the. No, it's not a crew. Crew is. Exactly. I think it should be li littler. Okay. Uh, it's it's too big an area for okay. for having a a, um, a specific wine. Uh, you have many wines in in Sassella as well as. Uh, <laughs> And as in uh, Grumello, because in Grumello you you have the wines um, in the in the area called uh, Dossi Salati. So the, the, um, there is a funny story there. You know, there is a a line in Grumello where the the um, there is a castle, mm -hmm. and then you have uh, vineyards on um, on the bottom, mm -hmm. for, and then you have uh, vineyards on the top. And the top vineyards are on the um, tectonic. Uh, Okay. plaque yeah. of uh, yeah. Europe and in on the one uh, the, the vineyards on the bottom side they are on the on the African tectonic so ah. so the, yeah in in there the the, the terrain is completely different I don't know they, uh, they say uh, for one hectare of uh, of uh, vineyard you have to put in uh, every year 1300 hours okay so it's and a normal would be in another zone, how much? Well, uh, it depends. One hectare. Maybe, maybe 300, 400, okay. something so like four, that. Okay, so four times. Yeah, <laughs> we work everything by hand, so there, there is no tractor, there is no uh, nothing. So everything has, has to be done by hand, and uh, it takes time. Of course. And here everything is Chivanesca. 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 Yeah, Chivanesca is an abiolo grape. He's more famous as an abiolo, but uh, I think it's worth calling it Chiavenasca because it's, I think it's uh, thousands of years they make wine here. So. What, does it have a meaning in dialect? Yeah, it comes from the word Chuinasca. That means uh, um, more apt to make wine, I think. <laughs> okay. I think it's the... More so, winey, yes. Yeah. More, if I remember reading correctly, yeah, yeah. more winey. And is it true that there are capers here? Capers yeah. in this zone? Capers, Capiti? I don't know. No, okay. I'm not sure. Fikidin? A fikidin? Fikidin, yeah, I saw yeah, it. There, the... are, there are Fikidin, they, they don't grow a lot. Like, okay. But, but they, they are because native. It's, it's strange. The same plant that grows in Pantelleria grows in yeah, Pantelina, that's because, and they're two completely that's different. That's because on, on this side of the valley that is exposed to, to the south, you get a, a sort of Mediterranean climate. Okay. So it's very, it's very warm. And um, even these terraces, they, they warm up pretty good. Because I was thinking that, of course, if we're in the mountains, you don't have to worry so much about the climate change. It'll probably happen here that we have to worry about it in 20, 30. Who, you know, we're in the mountains. Then I see these fiki de no, 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 no. And it's and then I look at myself and I'm completely <laughs> so sweating. <laughs> this is a zone that's actually really, really it's warm. It's warm, yeah. That's... So you potentially will suffer from the same things in terms of the climate change and global It depends warming. a lot on the altitude, I reckon. Okay. Like uh, many, many vineyards, in, uh, like um, I'd say above, uh, I don't know, 500, 600 meters, once they, they had problems to, to get to, to be ripe. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but nowadays they, they probably make the best wines. <laughs> okay. Because, because they, uh, they can stay in, on, on the plant for longer, so the, 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 mm, 
mature <laughs> maturity yeah, is maturity. is is better because mm -hmm. it's, it takes longer and you have very fine wines all the territory is very good for making wine so even the uh, the, the lower um, vineyards, you can make still a good wine. It's a different wine from the top. And you came from being an electrician before. Yeah, I was an electrician. <laughs> how is it different working with nature? How have you noticed your life change? No, you it changes? is different. But I have to say, when I was younger, I, I've been in Australia for 18 months working in, uh, in farms, big farms. They have these properties like uh, the, the biggest I was was 900 square kilometers. Mm -hmm. And um, and I I noticed how I I liked that. Okay. So it was I was pretty sure it, it would have been uh, uh, good for me working in the nature. Any uh, until now it is. And you're happier now. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs>